Hey everybody! Okay, it's Friday and this is day number five, day number five <clears throat> of our little challenge here. Okay, uh, what's the name of it? Okay, yes, qualifying your food. Qualify your life. Okay, we're going to do a lot of food qualifying here today. Um, just going to do like a mini little... Um, well, I guess we could do like a little game show of uh, what makes the cut and what doesn't. <laughs> Label reading, okay? So, um, instead of just telling you all the things that, you know, this is okay, this isn't okay, we're just going to do like a rapid round of, uh, of some label reading and I'm going to go through and explain just like I do with uh, my clients when we run through and do our little grocery store tour as part of what we do when when I do that, but nobody's able, I would have done that for the video today, but you know, it's the whole mask thing and blah, blah, blah. So, um, let's start with, okay, I'm gonna start with an, an easy one. Shredded wheat, let me put my glasses on here. Oh, um, before I should say, these are just kind of the categories that we wanna really kind of keep an eye on. Um, it really should be organic. Um, just because of what I said, even if something isn't necessarily a, um, you know, a produce item, something that has this little organic seal on here kind of lets you know that there's no GMOs and it kind of lets you know that there, it hasn't been raised with or put together with food that's been raised with pesticide, um, and chemicals and all that bad stuff we were talking about, you know, the last few days. So... Um, we also want to look at the quality of the oils and, you know, make decisions there. And we also want to look at the amount of sugar in something and the type of sugar it is. And then we get to the end all category, which is chemical free, pesticides free. Well, that's that. I'm sorry. What was the other? Um, not pesticides, additives, um, fake colors, artificial flavors and and all of that goody and in that whole realm falls msg and some of the oxidotoxins and things like that they're they're actually just neurotoxins um all of those items are and um totally banned most of them all in europe and everywhere else um like i said we're the only dummies that put up with that so that's why we're doing this so here we go okay so Item number one, post shredded wheat, okay? Um, whole grain wheat, I mean, pretty simple, right? Whole grain wheat, whole grain. The whole grain part is good. The fact that it's not organic tells me this is a GMO. And looky here, BHT added to preserve freshness. Horrible stuff. BHT is, it's, it's really one of the worst preservatives um, that you could put in your body. Uh, totally a neurotoxin. Anyway, um, totally outlawed everywhere else except for here. Okay, number next. Um, and so, see, this would be a simple item. One of my things that I like to make sure is that the less, when you look at the ingredient list, less is more, okay? Um, so that would have been great if it was organic, it would have said, or it could have only said, you know, wheat, <laughs> maybe salt, maybe a little bit of evaporated cane sugar or something like that. Um, okay. So here, this is actually one of my favorite things in the whole world, but it's so terrible for you. It's a Trader Joe's item. I love Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is like one of my go-to's. But there's really so many things. You really have to be careful because not everything, it may look good and taste good. It doesn't necessarily mean it's good for you. And just because it's coming from Trader Joe's, not necessarily. Um, okay, so anyway, and I just noticed this for the first time. I fed my kids this. I can't even tell you how many times. This is my little go-to dessert. Um, first ingredient, sugar. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> um, anything that is not a sack of sugar <laughs> and the first ingredient is sugar. No, no, that definitely not. Okay. 
All right, well, so, ooh. Uh, got a little sticky on there. That must, I'm gonna have to wipe that down. Um, here you go. Ingredients, organic maple sugar and organic vanilla beans, because it's like a super cool flavored vanilla. If I'm gonna go splurge and have pancakes, this baby's one I'm putting on my pancakes, okay? The real deal. If I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna have the real deal. And it's gonna like, just be amazing. Um, now, typical sugars, like most sugars, typical syrups, like most of the, the breakfast syrups, Aunt Jemima and all Mrs. Butterworth, all of those. Um, typically, their first ingredient is either water or high fructose corn syrup, okay? Then they have to find a way that they're gonna stay together and still me remain thick. So they have just oh, a load of conditioners and um, uh, emulsifiers and thickeners, carrageenan, you know, all of that. Um, carrageenan can be organic and then it's okay. But for the most parts, um, you know, the regular carrageenan is just really bad for you because it's uh, it's just derived from other sources um, that are probably GMO and and it's been tweaked chemically too um, but I, I, I can't even get into that okay so oh here's a good one all right here here's the old standard Crisco one of the worst things you could ever attempt to put into your body um, First of all, it's made from soybean oil, okay? All right, soybean, okay, this is not an organic product. There's no organic label on here, which means the soybean oil is definitely genetically modified and soy screws with your, uh, your estrogen. Oh, and I said that yesterday that soy does, it's an estrogen disruptor. Now, that doesn't mean it only affects women. Um, that also can mean, because men have estrogen too, it's just not their primary um, um, orientation hormone. <laughs> uh, we, you know, as women, we have testosterone too. What we need is a balance, you know, between the two. But estrogen um, can be disrupted by soy. So I'm, you know, I'm going to go somewhere else here. Okay, palm oil. That's like one of the cheapest sources. Uh, it, it is very, very detrimental in a lot of ways. Um, you know, and a lot of these oils are hydrogenated, which means they, they're whipped with hydrogen to make them emulsify and make them nice and thick and, you know, stand up like that. Ooh, this is rancid. That's gotta go in the trash anyway. So, um, hydrogenated oils basically scar your arteries and then all of the, the plaque has a better foothold to uh, hang on. So it's not good for anybody with heart conditions, uh, not good for anybody with high cholesterol. So, um, and guess what? All of your little Debbie and Twinkies and um, uh, half the breadings on your any kind of store-bought food, uh, I can go on and on and on. Um, and basically in your French fries and in the fast food industry, there's nothing but that. It's, it's absolutely just horrid for you. So stay away. Here's an alternative, okay? I have this organic. This is actually made from Organic palm fruit oil. Okay, now there's a difference. The fact that this is an or this is you know been classified as organic tells me that now palm palm fruit oil still isn't my best bet for um, for an oil, but it, it does happen to be one that's able to you know retain its thickness or its, uh, its stability, shall we say. I can't even get this sucker open. Oh, duh, here we go. Okay, so it looks kind of like butter, but, um, but you know, there's certain, 
there's only certain things that you can use in certain recipes. And if I was making pies at the holidays, actually, that's why I have these because um, my mom was making pies and um, my brother asked, he can't do gluten, I can't do gluten. So he had some gluten free, free flour and we, you know, we made the pie dough with this instead of the old Crisco Rooney. Terrible stuff. Okay, so this, I'm going to read the ingredients here. Organic palm fruit oil, organic unrefined virgin coconut oil, organic unrefined red palm oil. So, okay, would these be my most favorite things that I would use if I'm cooking a stir fry? No, but it's it serves its purpose, okay? Special purpose, okay? So, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm telling you all this stuff, and that's why we're doing this, so that we have, um, you know... It's a little bit of the lightning round, but you know, I'm still trying to give you guys some insights as to how to, because it can't just be all or nothing, you know. This is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be buying that again. Okay, butternut squash soup. Okay, this is another product from Trader Joe's. And I mean, it's pretty good. It's only 17 carbs and only, it's got nine grams of sugar. That's quite a bit, actually. Um, two grams of protein. You know, it's good to get you by, but I, I, you know, but anyway. Okay, so ingredients, butternut squash puree. That's good. It's, um, you know, probably with pesticides, but squash is one of those things where, you know, it's a hardened vegetable with a shell so the shell isn't part of that so a lot less pesticides would leach through so you know i'd i'd be kind of okay maybe with this product so far water organic soy base um that means it has soybeans i never even noticed this before um and i've had this soup before i'm not really totally fond with it um imagine foods makes a really good version of this and it's organic um it's probably double the price, but you know, these are all the little trade-offs that you gotta make. Um, you know, this would be in the better category than say the <laughs> the other stuff that we tossed out because the shredded wheat, we, we were tossing that and we're tossing the Crisco. Um, okay, but we're gonna keep the natural Crisco. Okay, just reiterating, sorry. So we've got um, evaporated cane sugar, that actually is a good sign that somebody's trying to do well, that they don't just throw sugar in there or high fructose corn syrup. If you see ever see evaporated cane sugar, that's a dead giveaway that it's, it's probably in the middle range at least of a decent product. So uh, sea salt, that's another one where they don't just say salt. If they say sea salt, I don't know, that's beginning to be more and more of like a little marketing gimmick, but they haven't really gone into the labeling as much. They don't count on people educating themselves, selves, <laughs> getting ahead of myself, um, and being smart enough to go through and do what we're doing here, okay? Um, oh, that brings me to my, I forgot my little, uh, my meme for the day, okay? Here we go. Leaders think and talk about the solutions. Followers think and talk about the problems, okay? So what we're doing here is we are talking about solutions because <laughs> we're leaders and we're reading the labels. We're reading them and we are edge, edge, we're fujimicating ourselves. There we go. Um, all right, so let's see what else we got in here. Expeller, pressed canola. That's okay. I mean, canola is not your best oil, but it's getting further down the list. So um, for those of you who may not have seen my other label reading class, um, usually the first item, well, it's it's the way it works. The first item is what there's the most of. So if your items that are a little more sketchy or towards the bottom, you know, that gives you, you know, your pause for what you think. But I mean, I know there's one guy, he's a YouTube guy, and he goes through the grocery store, and I mean, he's so particular, that guy can't eat anything. He's kind of like eating like I am now. <laughs> I don't think everybody could eat like I do right now, 
for you know as long as I have been as been you know five months it's been a little crazy but I mean I, I couldn't eat any of this stuff on the regimen that I'm in right now um, so rice flour that's you know they thicken it a little bit with that natural flavor now natural flavor can be um, a red flag and you got to gauge the idea of the natural flavor by the other ingredients and some of these you know they're not too bad um, if this was the syrup <laughs> you know the the mrs. Butterworth and it said natural flavored then I'd be like oh yeah that's MSG because technically MSG comes from a natural substance and it does add flavor because it messes with our uh, our receptors from um, in our brain and makes us believe that it tastes good so it's just one of those tricksters but it can be MSG can be present in a in a label that says natural flavor so keep that in mind the way that you can tell is by what's what else is going on in the scenario here so okay onion powder cool garlic powder cool ginger powder cool not cool for me can't do ginger can't do rice but that's a eh, 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 kind of a scenario okay so I'm moving on to okay this is a really good product that I like um, and it's it's not bad okay first ingredient is water whole grain brown rice whole grain quinoa it's USDA organic which tells me it's non GMO this one actually had the little G, you know non GMO see that little with the little butterfly on there um, that's a it's a labeling thing but uh, it helps denote safety so this doesn't have this on here but we know that it's non GMO because it's organic because um, that is part of the organic standard so uh, okay it says less than 2% of sunflower oil Sunflower oil is, it's not optimal, but it's not like a, a game changer if there's just a little bit in there for flavor, you know. Um, I actually sometimes will use sunflower butter. Um, I use that as part of my little mix that I do for a flavoring for my um, baked kale um, when I make kale chips. But, okay, let's see. So we've got the whole grains. Um, sunflower oil, sea salt, that's good, garlic powder, tapioca starch in a lot of places wouldn't be such a great thing, but because we're talking this is already certified organic, it's probably okay. Dried garlic, onion powder, soy lectin. It's kind of used as a natural stabilizer, so it's, it's okay. I mean, you know, it does contain soy. Um, but it's a pretty small amount. Parsley, spice, and um, all of these are donate, um, denoted as organic by the little asterisks there. So, um, and then they tell you to microwave it, which just blows my mind, but <laughs> I haven't had a microwave in 15 years. Um, anyway, uh, that's another story another day. Okay, so that's a good, that's a good product. Okay, all right, all right, we've got this Lundberg, and I buy their rice all the time, uh, certified non-GMO, even though it's not organic. Um, this is a good brand, this Lundberg, they're a California brand, uh, California company, and they have good food, even though they're not list, oh, I'm so wrong, this one actually is. Some of their rice is not organic, but some of it is apparently, okay. Cool, I didn't even realize that. See, see I'm learning too. <laughs> um, all right, so the ingredients here, organic arborio rice. That's how, that's what they make risotto out of. It's from, it's Italian rice. And it's very short grain and very starchy. Um, so the carbs on this are gonna be huge, at 43 grams. Anyway, uh, organic brown rice flour, sea salt, organic dried cane syrup. There you go, the dried cane, sir cane syrup. 
um, rather than sugar. Cane syrup is the first press, so it's a lot less processed than regular sugar. Um, organic wild porcini mushrooms, yum, love those. Onion, garlic, natural flavors, and then they have that in an asterisk, butter, garlic, and onion, and they are denoted as organic. So you're all good there. Then we just got sunflower oil, safflower oil, organic black pepper, lactic acid, organic rice concentrate. So, I would eat this product. I would probably make my own, but in the pinch, not bad. It's okay. Um, all right, so now we're gonna do, I got two kinds of ranch dressing, okay? So, all right, let the, let the games begin. <laughs> um, Hidden Valley Ranch, first ingredient, vegetable oil. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you don't want anything that says vegetable oil because that can just be just a whole host of really bad, nasty, um, genetically modified stuff. This is genetically modified city here, um, because it comes from one of the big old manufacturers. It doesn't come from a ranch. That's in California named Hidden Valley. Comes from uh, HV Food Products. I don't know, it's, it's a derivative of all the big major food companies. So anyway, so here we go. So let's, let's look at, see how many nasty ingredients we can find in one sitting here. Vegetable oil, okay, we already talked about that. Water, sugar, so they're just, they're just right out there. Sugar is the one, two, Third ingredient, third largest ingredient. Largest ingredient is oil, third largest ingredient is sugar. If sugar is in your top five and it's it's not, you know, a bag of organic cane sugar, <laughs> get rid of it. Okay, so let's keep going on here. Uh, Non-fat buttermilk, eh. egg yolk, eh. natural flavors, okay. I'm here to tell you that natural flavors, oops, my battery's getting low. That natural flavors is, there's uh, MSG gonna be in the natural flavors for sure. Garlic, phosphoric, it's, it's listing all of them. Oh, modified food starch, MSG. Oh, here it says right here, monosodium glutamate. Boy, they're not even trying to hide it. Artificial flavors. Disodium phosphate, disodium EDTA. These things will get in your gut and they will destroy your gut bacteria and the bonds between, you know, your little single celled lining of your gut. And this will create havoc in your life. If maybe it isn't today, maybe it isn't tomorrow, but five years down the road, after you keep continuing and continue to kill yourself with this stuff, um, that's what's gonna be. So, okay, there we go. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. The disodium EDTA added to preserve freshness. <laughs> sure. Um, and it will definitely preserve you. We already talked about that, but I had a story where I opened this up after eight months in 120 degree weather. Uh, Cause one of my employees had put a brand new, opened it up, poured a little out, put it in with um, some decorations instead of back in the cooler. And uh, it was fine. I could have served it. <laughs> Disgusting. Eight months later. Okay. So there you go. Bad stuff. Well, now let's look at a better product. Okay. USDA organic. This is Simply Nature Chipotle ranch dressing. Okay, forget about the chipotle, you know, flavoring, but okay, here we go. Water, organic soybean oil. Still not going to be on my list of what I want to eat, but in a pinch, I guess I'd be okay once or twice here and there. But this isn't gonna, this isn't my normal go-to. It's just something I I found when I was kind of not paying attention <laughs> to the label. I was in, her, in, you know, in, the, in a hurry. 
So, okay, vinegar, buttermilk powder, organic skim milk, okay, sea salt, organic dried whole eggs, organic black pepper, lemon juice concentrate, organic garlic powder, chipotle, and these are all just spices, jalapeno powder. Okay, so when you take all the seasonings, flavorings out, there's really kind of only about five or six ingredients there. So that's pretty good. Um, like I said, not wild about the soybean oil because I try and stay away from soy. Um, had it been made with avocado or olive oil, um, this would be a better product, you know, in my book. And so here we've got another dressing. Ooh, this is one of my favorite yummy, yummy dressings. It's spicy cashew butter. It's kind of almost has like a Thai flavor to it. I love this. Anyway, water, cashew butter, which is, that's my thing. Can't do peanuts and uh, that, I'm a cashew butter girl. Uh, lime juice, ginger puree. Yeah. Oh, that's what was bothering me. <laughs> I'd see, I haven't looked through this as much as I should have. Um, but organic coconut milk. Um, do, 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 do cilantro, red chili paste. Oh, these are all Thai seasonings. Ooh, yeah, yummy. That's why I like this so much, I guess. I'm a Thai food fan. So salt, distilled vinegar, uh, maple syrup. Has that for a little of their flavoring, which is better than sugar for you. It doesn't, it's not quite, I mean, it, you know. So your carbohydrates here are only four grams with one of them being at the added sugars. So that's not bad. So it's only a little bit of that maple syrup. So see how sometimes when, when it comes to the sugar, if you, if you just look back on the label and look at the carbohydrates, you start getting a feel for what's low, what's high, um, you know. Um, okay, so got a little xanthan gum in there, but overall pretty good product, so. I'm going to stick with this because I love it. It brings me happiness. All right. Okay, I got one more product here before we shove off. Ooh, we're at 27 minutes. We're going to have to go. Um, but I think this is valuable. It, it, I'm learning stuff, okay? I'm learning stuff about stuff I just took for granted. And I, didn't, I wasn't being as good of a label reader as I should be. So, okay. So, ingredients here. Soy sauce, okay? Um not organic, really cute little package. That's probably why I bought it because I was having, I was making sushi and this is um, unagi sauce. This is eel sauce that you'd put on your little sushi. So, and my brother looked at this the other day and he's like, he goes, oh my God, I can't believe you brought this into my house. I am not eating that. <laughs> I said, fine, then you can make the soy, the unagi, which is soy sauce and molasses and you just boil it down. But, um, Soy sauce, high fructose corn syrup, Bleh. all right, I'm out. <laughs> um, sugar, corn syrup. I mean, how many kind of syrups and corn products can you have in one thing here? Uh, water, salt, mortified, modified corn starch, monosodium glutamate, vinegar, caramel coloring. Okay, that's an artificial coloring right there. Citric acid, disodium eno, enosinate, bad. Disodium guanolate, don't want that either. Um, potassium sorbate, that's a preservative, which, eh, you know, it's not, it's, it's not good for you. And sodium benzoate, carcinogen, hello. They, they don't use it as much, but this is like the worst thing that we've, we've seen today here. Everything in here. Well, I mean, the soy sauce, it's full of wheat. Um, so that's full of gluten, which really isn't very good for you. If you want a good soy sauce, go with tamari or go with coconut aminos. They have those in Costco and they have them in, in Trader Joe's as well. But get rid of your soy sauce because it's full of gluten. Um, and we all know that gluten is one of those things that also, along with, bad chemicals and uh, glycophosphates breaks down our intestinal wall. And that's when we start losing all of our immune issues. 
our immune abilities and we develop so you know some autoimmune issues okay so i think that we've gone through quite enough to give you guys a good overview um it's friday and um we're gonna see you tomorrow get your list of your five things that you want to make or want to learn to make or you already know how to make your five go-to's um, and they should be simple things, just simple, simple, as simple as possible. Um, okay, that's it for me. And uh, I'm hoping you guys have a fabulous Friday and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace out.